Hello everyone, welcome to Sober Gaming, where we believe video games is the only addiction you will ever need. Today I'm bringing you a quick guide on farming in 7 days to die. Stick until the end of the video to learn about 3 of my favorite recipes to cook without looting any canned foods and just rely on your farm. Please consider subscribing and joining my streams on Monday and Wednesday at 6pm PST. Friday 8pm PST and weekends at 12pm PST. Now 7 Days to Die doesn't have the best farming you will find in survival games, but it does its job. There are two types of farming, food and trees. Trees are very simple. You knock down a tree that matured and you will get its seed that you can plant for another tree to grow. It will take 2 hours real time to mature. On the other hand, we have crops that you can acquire from looting, trading or crafting. A perk living over the land will help you become a better farmer. You can craft seeds for flowers at level 1 of living over the land perk, berry, vegetable and mutated seeds after unlocking level 2. Each level of these perks allow you to harvest more crops. The maximum level of this perk is level 3, after which you will be able to harvest 3 items from wild or planted crops. All crop seeds can only be planted in a farm plot, with exception of mushrooms. The farm plot is crafted with 4 wood, 10 rotting flesh, 25 nitrate powder, and 10 clay soil. Also, living of the land perk reduces the cost of crafting farm plots by 30% at level 1, and by 50% at level 2. You can get rotting flesh from zombie dogs, zombie bears, zombie vultures, from harvesting carcasses and rotting corpses found on the ground throughout the world, as well as from body bags. To get nitrate powder, just mine its ore that looks like a white spiky rock. Finally, to get a clay soil, just dig dirt with a shovel. Place your farming plots as you would any other block, if you want to move them, you can get them back by hitting them with a shovel. Once you place them, right click on them with the seed you want to plant. Something to note, plants also require natural light so they can grow. This means that plants need to be outside or have some method of receiving natural light. Unfortunately, you cannot make farms on bedrock level because the amount of light a block receives will also be reduced by 1 with a vertical distance from a light source. A block that is over 6 meters from a natural light source will not receive any light. After 2 hours of real time, your crops will grow from a seed to a mature plant, after which you may harvest them. Harvesting a plant before its final stage will yield only its seed. Plants are harvested by left-clicking any mature plant. Harvest yield is equal when using bare hands versus any tool. And is only determined by the living of the land perk. Once a player placed plant is harvested, it reverts back to its seeding stage in its plot. So you basically don't have to plant seeds every time you harvest. Plants found growing organically on the map are simply destroyed upon harvest. There are 13 plants you can have at your farm. Aloe plant, which makes aloe cream that is used in crafting first aid bandages. Blueberries, which is used to create blueberry pie, herbal antibiotics, yucca juice smoothie, and grandpa's moonshine. Chrysanthemum, that is used to create paint. Coffee plant, that is used to create coffee or blackstrap coffee. Corn, that is used to create hobo stew meat stew, vegetable stew, champ chowder, shepherd's pie, and cornmeal which is used in a ton of other recipes. Super corn that is used to create glue, cotton that is used to create cloth, beds, chairs, and puffer coat, golden rod that is used to create golden rod tea and mineral water, hop that is used to create beer, Mushrooms, that is used to create vegetable stew, steak and potato meal, spaghetti, herbal antibiotics, and grandpa's awesome sauce. Pumpkin, that is used to create jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin bread, cheesecake and pie. Potato, that is used to create a bunch of different food. And finally, yucca, that is used to create yucca smoothie and yucca juice. 
Now let's talk about recipes. You can make a ton of different food in 7 Days to Die. The only catch is you must have a canned food for most of them, which sucks because you have to go and loot stuff. Now I really like to build and chill at my base and not go out and loot canned food 24-7. That's why I usually rely on three main recipes. My first recipe is meat stew. You need five raw meat, one water, two corn, two potatoes and one animal fat. Most of it you can get at your base except meat and animal fat. Hunting is required, but it's pretty easy and fast if you have a truck or a motorcycle. This stew restores 50 hunger, 20 hydration and 25 health. My second favorite recipe is steak and potato. Very similar, you will need 5 raw meat, 2 potatoes, 2 mushrooms and 1 animal fat. This meal restores 50 hunger and 25 health. If you are extremely lazy and don't even want to hunt, you can always go vegetarian option with vegetable stew. You will need 1 water, 2 corn, 2 potatoes and 2 mushrooms. You don't even need to leave your compound to make this meal. This one only restores 31 hunger, 20 hydration and 15 health, so you might need a couple of these if you are very hungry. Thank you everyone for watching, please let me know how do you set up your farms and what are your favorite recipes in 7 days to die in the comment section down below. Please consider subscribing and of course join my streams. Cheers!